What's up, Trey Two Man? Welcome back to another video. And today, we got Judge Joe Brown. So, I asked y'all what y'all wanted to see, man. And other than the back row, the back wheel rolling tutorial, I got the court case videos. I also got a few other ones, but I decided to go to court case videos. So that's the one we'll go with, man. And um, if you're new to the channel, man, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, man. That really help. We got to, man, we about to we about to make a big family over here, bro. This about to get bigger than y'all think, man. This only got a little bit of views right now, but give me a couple couple weeks or so. You know what I'm saying? We're going to get the ball rolling. But other than that, man, with that being said, we about to get right into this, man. Let's get it. Bro, what is she wearing? About wrong. So what's the difference? You wanna talk back? This has to be like man, in 2002. Man. I remember when I was a kid, I used to watch this with my dad. And it has to be like, yeah. Okay, it makes sense. It makes sense. She looked like a. Uh, she got that outfit that Missy Elliott had on in that video. It was like that. Oh, well. your sister, yeah, yeah. Moore. Uh, apparently, you two rented a place together, and there's a dispute about move out and remaining rentals and expense. Before we go any further, I just want to know what was going through her mind when she walked out the house this morning. Why? Why? The purple hair. It's just a lot. A lot going on. Says and justifications for moving Her out. Pink hair guys. So Ooh. let's see, Mrs. Kiona Mora. Yes. I believe you're the plaintiff, so you start first. Well, we moved in in um, February of 2009, and I didn't want to really do it because you know what I'm saying I was just stressed out dealing with a lot of things at the time, and I, I think you were pregnant at the time. Yes, sir. I was pregnant at the time, but I agreed to do it because that's my sister, and I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, save money okay, so at I the same time a place by together. going in with her. Times are hard. Right. So I agreed to do it with her or whatever, and anyway, she stiffed me, you know what I'm saying, two months into the lease agreement or whatever. She paid her rent or whatever. She was staying with her boyfriend before that, and she, uh, he got busted on a drug charge. Yes, sir. A no matter of being locked up. Correct. Yeah, but he got out. Uh, correct. Hey man, I'ma just say one thing. The game ain't for everybody. Everybody don't have to be a drug dealer. You can go to school and go and to And when he got out, you know what I'm saying, she wanted him to come stay with us. And I didn't want him to come stay with us because I don't like him. He don't have no type of income. And I got mm. my kids there. Her kids was there. And you know what I'm saying? And that makes sense. Enough, you know what I'm saying? And her baby dad well, was I there. Well, I kind of got it. Uh, what you saying? But she paying bills. I don't know if I know what she can have saying, anybody there, I whoever she want there. I don't know it because it wasn't there. Her baby daddy was like, yeah, you okay. Well, so I like to meet her. Yes, sir, Your Honor. Uh, um, I, um, I didn't want him to stay there because you know what I'm saying. Because I don't like him, and I just didn't like him at all, and I still don't like him. And she. All right. So you didn't want her boyfriend to stay there. No. So is that why you say she moved out? Yeah, because she wanted him to move in, and I didn't want him to move in. And she tried to, you know, gradually take a little bit of stuff at a time out the house or whatever, try to make it seem like she was there, but she really wasn't there. Then all of a sudden, she just didn't come home. You know, so I, she moved out. Of okay, her but, oh, well, I mean, if they got a place together. You say she moved out two months into the lease. Right. Like, she was, Dang. like, make, trying to make it seem like That's she was still up. there because she had a little bit of stuff there, but her body wasn't there. She wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? The kids was there. What? I recommend nobody get a roommate. Before you get a roommate, stay with your parents because when you get your own thing, the reason you're moving out your parents' house is because you want your own space. You want to be able to do what you want to do, come in at any time of the night. With a roommate, imagine coming home at any time of the night and then your roommate, and then all you want to go do is go home and lay down or something and your roommate want to listen to music loud at two in the morning. Or they have having a little kickback going, and then you walk in, you just want to go to sleep, and then they not about to be quiet for you. You know what I'm saying? It's just then that's when you can start arguing. And that's when stuff like this happen. People start moving out. Whoever the lease, whoever the apartment name is in, is fucked. Well, when did 
did she stop paying the rent? April. She didn't give up no money for April. And you say that you were there. Let's see. You had a 13-year-old and 12-year-old, and you were pregnant at the time. Yes, sir. And I believe the defendant had a 17-year-old, two 16-year-old twins, and a 12-year-old. Right. So you're trying to get Damn, she unpaid rent, and you're giving her credit for some payments that she apparently made. Is yeah. that correct? Yes, sir. Well, how many payments did she make uh, in well, she, she October not... through February? Yeah, she was giving me money. She started giving me money in October because him or her was having little issues or whatever. Mm -hmm. Him and her. <laughs> her and her boyfriend was having issues because that's who she was. He said the same like, thing I said. Money. What are you talking about, bro? Had, you know what I'm saying? Come her. back home or whatever. And I owe her money. That ain't why I gave her the money. I was oh, giving oh, her the money. Wait, 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 wait. Time out. I understand you have a different position on these issues. So he ain't telling her right. Well, 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 let me hear your side of the story then, then Pinky. Side, I suggest you wait till she gets through. Because if you keep trying to interrupt like that, you cut things off. And that takes uh, extra time. And. Uh, you may try the arbitrator's patience. Let her finish, and then you'll get the floor. Now, I've looked at your sworn Basically, account, he said, and I see up. the lease, the payment receipts, and the promissory agreement. Now, why do we have a promissory agreement here? Um, Your Honor, because I kept asking her for my money. She was having money here and there, and I kept so asking her when she was going to give me my business. money. She tried to uh, write the promissory job, notes, yeah. cause she, I guess, because I was getting on her nerves about my money. So she was going to tell me that she was going to give me my money back this year when she filed her income taxes. If she That's the worst nothing. way. You see, how, you see the girl with the pink hair attitude? That's the worst way to go in the courtroom, because the judge... Is there to judge you. That's why they call it a judge. They judge you based off of appearance. That's why they say go nicely, nicely dressed. They judge you off um, body language. They judge you off um, just everything, bro. You could tell that the girl with the pink hair body language is just off. Like she rolling her eyes, her head to the side. Like Basically, what I'm trying to say is if the judge had to pick a side right now, he's probably on... Kiana's Kiana more so because she's the more but that's why she wrote the promissory note talking about she was gonna give me my money when she got her taxes and still ain't gave me my money <laughs> well See, why do you say you can't she go in there and throw little comments like that partial rent. She I mean you can she but it ain't gonna work on your she just start paying me no rent until October no, she didn't get like well, no, no you don't yet Good. wait Maybe yeah, that's so why she's, so out of, she's out of there. You don't have At the end of this, she's probably going to be the one a lot older than getting messed over. Yeah. So. All right. Now, you started off early being a mother. Who? You? I was grown, 17 on my own when I had my first child in my own place. That's grown? Yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, I was on shit. my own. I, I had a kid at 17. Grown. It was grown enough to have my well, own place. Well, maybe what the problem is is the reason you That's another thing I don't like about Judge Joe Brown. Like she said, if she was 17 and she was on her own and she considered herself grown, she, she grown. I know some people who's grown at 13, 14 in games, robbing people, uh, selling drugs. Like, so the fact that he's trying to like downplay her, or, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of show people, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Exactly. Then, and maybe what we have is a case of what is it, arrested development? Because you're not I, would just, I wouldn't even say nothing if I was the girl to pick it. Facts. Right now, I'm trying to restore. But she got you got to be paying rent, bro. You can't just be moving on here like that. With nothing resolved in a little bit, if you don't stop, I'm trying to restore decorum. Now the point is, is at 34, I expect you to act like you're full grown. Maybe there is arrested development. If you had a better attitude, if she, I don't mean to keep pausing it, but if she had a better attitude, then it probably would have went in her favor. Probably. Well, actually, probably not. But it probably would have, it probably wouldn't have been as bad as it probably is going to be. Now, if already, you want to talk back? I'm not 
it's your sister. Okay. I suggest you listen very quietly. Don't say anything. Try and follow the instructions. Because when you can't follow the instructions I'm giving you in here, I have a suspicion that part of the problem that we're dealing with right now relative to this arbitration is because you don't listen. Or if you do listen, yeah, you don't she creating a whole other problem. Out. Be quiet. But shut your mouth. You have to have discipline and maturity if you're going to teach it to your children. I suspect. No, they're not. Yeah, they're not grown. Trust me. My kids. You don't know my kids. Trust me. I know you. And the fruit doesn't me. fall too far you from the tree. Exactly. You know, I know you. I can tell right now. I need. I know all I need to know about you relative to your inability. She came in there with an attitude. Okay, you think you know me, but you don't know me. Oh, but I do. No. You're not even Listen, supposed to talk to a judge like this. He can like throw you like literally like a rest Five thousand individuals I've dealt with. Just saying some stupid stuff. You think if you see eighty-five thousand people over forty years going back and forth with this, you don't forget? Yeah, I do. We'll be right back. Put your chest to the ground. Yeah, here he is. He Lady in the pink hair better change it up or she would probably get sent to court. Yeah, on the street corner, yeah. So both of you have got boyfriends that have little hustles, or, I assume, moving merchandise. Right. She in there telling on everybody. She about to rap everybody out. Everybody going to jail. Yep. We all did it. Oh, shit. So to come <laughs> she ready to tell the whole story. You'll say that in your complaint, your man uh, was helping you out with your kids and things. He had money. You're over here offering up. Why don't you get undefensive a little bit? Uncross no, I, I mean, I'm cool. Well, let me put it to you this way. Stop being so defensive. Open up. Be receptive. And what happens exactly. is I'm going to ask you a Listen. couple of questions. Exactly. Your mouth runneth over. Yeah. Digest to understand. Take a breath. Now I'm ready. Now, she has said uh, that her boyfriend helped her out with the bills and uh, her children. You say he didn't have a job. He had the same job that my dude had. Well, did he have a job? He told it on everybody. Yeah. Now, can he file taxes on that? No, he can't. <laughs> She telling on everybody. Now, can he file taxes on it? No. He didn't work a nine to five like we worked a nine to five. We was paying rent. Now, what was the problem with my dude being there if her dude was there? You're saying her boyfriend just had a hustle. He didn't have a job. Right. Mm. And that's not true. All right. Now, your boyfriend apparently had a job, hustle, or at least he got accused of one, uh, moving a little merchandise. Right. So both of you have got boyfriends that have little hustles, or I assume, moving merchandise. Right. So these kids include... <coughs> Bro. <one coughs> two... <coughs> Do she not understand that she basically telling the judge, like, yeah, my, my dude's still dope? Judge know where you live. Your car's license plate number, your social security number, your birthday. I don't know, bro. Three sons, Tell me what three think, boys man. are supposed to be getting role models. Two unemployed males who are moving merchandise. The poison where they live. No, you can't. The poison where they so live. So your defense, I'm reading, is that it should be basically tit for tat. <sighs> Sauce for the goose is sauce for the gander. In this case, sauce for the goose is sauce for the other goose. If she can have her boyfriend spend the night, why not yours since both of them do the same thing? It ain't never gonna work out, bro. Not even Especially with two grown do. men. I mean, no, it is about what they do. He gonna wanna walk around in his underwear just like you gonna wanna walk around in your underwear, I mean, consider is simple. whether or not there's what they call constructive eviction or there is such conduct or such circumstances as would demand that the circumstance that you two put yourselves into be broken up. The bottom line
line is, is did you have cause to abandon the place? Yeah, no. What? <laughs> As, why should I pay rent and I got to go somewhere else and pay for a hotel room to be with my man and I'm paying rent and a house and her man laying up in the same house? Okay, that we split the rent. He's giving her money, though. Your, your man wasn't giving he's her giving money. He's giving me money. I don't know what her man giving her. But he, he paid the, your, your part of the rent. That's after I was gone. After I was gone. He paid your part of the rent. After I was gone. He paid your part of the rent. Ah, uh, get him out of here! <laughs> what happened? Like, he like, bro, fuck both of you, man, bro. Just get him out of here, bro. God damn. Judge Rabon is a fool, and I'm surprised he sat there and listened to that for that long, but I don't even know what to say, bro. This is, I don't know, bro. Some people just have no morals, have no manners. I don't know, bro. But it was pretty funny, so tell me what y'all think, man. Y'all drop down in the comments. But other than that, man, it's your boy Trey Dub. I'm checking out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what kind of videos y'all want to see. Let me know if y'all like these videos, these core videos. And let me know what other kind of videos y'all want to see me do. You know what I'm saying? But further ado, man, your boy. I just thought, man.